Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG GC2E and how to program in the PIR1E-345 wireless encrypted motion detector. Now this is an encrypted device, remember this, so if you're not looking to program an encrypted device, this isn't the video for you. But this is the encrypted version, so we're going to go ahead and proceed on here. First thing we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and sec hit security on the screen. Then you're going to hit menu and then go ahead and hit toolbox. Once you're in toolbox, it's going to ask you for your installer code. Now the installer code on, on my panel here is factory of 1561. Yours might be different, but mine is 1561. At this point, you'll see a new menu up here. You want to hit the right arrow in the bottom right hand corner twice. At this point, go into installer toolbox and then system configuration. Now when you get in here, it's going to ask you uh, what sensor you want to program this to. My first available is zone 1. I'm not going to program it there because that's just too easy. So I'll scroll over. We'll go to zone 5. So you press the right arrow until you get to zone 5 and then you press the down arrow. At this point, it's going to ask you for the sensor type. My sensor type is going to be a interior follower, which is what you would set a motion to that you don't want to delay on. That's going to be an instant motion, and by the way, it only will activate in away mode. In stay mode, it will not arm, so that way you can move around the home. Now, if you do want to delay on it, so that way it gives you a little bit of time before it goes off, then you're going to set it as an interior with delay. But in this case, interior follower, both of those uh, zone types, by the way, are both going to be uh, uh, non-existent in stay mode. So uh, the motions will not be active in stay mode as long as you program it as an interior type. So interior follower is what we're going to go as. Then we hit the down arrow. It wants to know what the equipment type is. It's going to be a motion here. So you just go ahead and hit the down arrow. Then it's going to want to know the equipment code. This is, uh, I believe, 2869, if I'm not mistaken. And it is. 2869 is the equipment code for the E-Series PIR motion. So this device, 2869, is the equipment code for it. Hit the down arrow after you've put that in. Now it wants you to learn the device in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit shift and then learn. Now what it's waiting for is an RF transmission. So I moved my hand in front of this motion and it actually caught me. Uh, usually you kind of have to tamper it if you've been moving in front of it because it's, it's not prepared to capture motion at that point. But uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll open it up and we'll confirm that that serial number is in fact correct. Just give me one second. Let me get this screw out of here. Okay, got it open. So let's verify that that is our number, 029-8638. And that is our number, this is our motion. So we got this guy in there. You can go ahead and put your cover back on. You'd be able to put your screw back in there at this point as well. We don't need to do that because it's time consuming. So we'll just move past that. Go ahead and hit okay. After you've hit okay and you verify that serial number is correct, hit the down arrow. Now it's gonna ask you for the equipment age. This is a brand new motion, so I'm gonna leave it brand new. You can change it to existing if you like, but it's new, so. Now it's gonna ask you for the loop. The loop in this case is gonna be a loop one. Just leave it at loop one, hit the down arrow. Now it's gonna ask you for that dial delay again. We don't want an additional dial delay on here. We want this thing to transmit immediately. If you do want a dial delay on there, you can do so, no problem at all. But uh, I am gonna go ahead and disable that by pressing the right arrow. Hit the down arrow at that point. It's gonna ask you for your voice descriptor. I'm gonna go ahead and hit insert and keep hitting the right arrow until I come up to motion. Can take a little bit of time here because there are quite a bit of descriptors in here. My apologies on the amount of time it's taken here, but like I said, there are quite a, a few uh, descriptors in here. So let's see what we have. Motion, boom. All right, hit the down arrow after you've put in your zone descriptor. And you use the right or left arrows, by the way, to navigate and choose which word you want to do after hitting insert. So either direction, it'll take you to words. Uh, at this point, uh, after you've hit the down arrow, it'll say select RF sensor reports. Uh, this is where it's going to ask you if you actually wanted to transmit its signal to the central station. I definitely want that. If you're trying to set something up locally and you don't want it to transmit, that's fine. Then you just hit the right arrow and you disable it. I do want it to transmit, so I'm going to leave it and then hit the down arrow. 
Now it's gonna ask if you want this device to be supervised, meaning if this device ever falls out of RF supervision, it will alert the panel and let your panel know that there's something going on. I absolutely want that. I'm gonna leave it, press the down arrow. Now this is where it asks you if you want a chime. On a motion detector, I do not suggest a chime, just because every single time that you walk in front of this device, it will chime. So probably not the best uh, idea for, for a motion, unless that's what you're looking for. Um, but I'm gonna leave it disabled and then hit the down arrow. At this point, it'll give you the wrap up of all the zone information that you programmed in. Uh, you can edit it, or you can edit the next zone by clicking edit next, or you can skip altogether, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit skip, because I have nothing else to program. Then I'm gonna hit end. At that point, you got a whole list of things that pop up, and you'll see a little save changes box at the bottom here. If you don't wanna save the changes, you made a mistake, you just uncheck that box, and then you hit exit. I do want to save these changes, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that box checked and then hit exit. At this point, it will go through its reboot process, so we're just gonna wait for this to finish. Once that's done, the motion will be learned in, and I'll show you that it's learned in by tampering the device. All right, wait for this screen to come back here. All right, there it is. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll tamper this device, and it should appear on the screen. There it is. And we have our motion tamper there. Go ahead and close it back up and that tamper should go away. There it is. All right, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you program in the PIR1E from 2GIG onto the 2GIG GC2E. If there's any questions or comments, please leave them below. Other than that, you guys take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.